Okay, so it's December 2016. We've just seen our first, call it a post-election month of reaction by the markets. And according to the headlines, it sounds very good. You know, US equity markets up four or 5%. But that's not really the experience that most investors have had. Most of us are diversified. The international markets were not up nearly as much. The uh, fixed income markets were actually down. You know, the aggregate bond index is down two or three percent. Municipals five to six. Long-term treasury seven to eight. Um, and I thought today I would talk about something we've discussed in the past with ETF.com or with Barons, which is the idea that yes, ETFs democratize the access to fixed income. But when they do that, they also lose the two most important covenants of a bond. A bond has the rule that it's going to have a maturity and it's going to have a constant coupon. And when you use an index product to get exposure, you lose both of those aspects, but you're still subject to the duration risk. So today I thought I would talk about an alternative approach to utilizing ETFs for income, and that's an income barbell. So our approach to income investing with ETFs is a little bit different. Rather than a ladder or blending out a whole bunch of different securities, in order to get that kind of lower volatility of a bond and constant coupon of a bond, we use the barbell. And the barbell works like this. First, you need the income component. We use the a good example as PCEF, which is an ETF that uses closed-end funds, weights them based on premium and discount, weights them based on the higher yield, but is consistently yield of about 8%. Now, we combine that with another product, something that's shorter duration, something that's more like a cash alternative. One of my favorites is GSY from Guggenheim. It yields a little over 1%, we'll say 1% for the purposes of this video. But uh, essentially, by combining these two, we can target a specific yield. So we have 50% in one, 50% in the other. We've got a targeted yield of 5%. But even more importantly, much less volatility, much less duration. We mentioned how poorly a lot of the bonds did last month. For the month of November, a simple index of 50-50 in each of these, 5% yield, and would have been down about 0.15% or 0.15% in the month of November. For the year, this simple approach is up six and a quarter. Um, so that's our approach to fixed income investing, and thank you for your time.